Uh, Alright, so I think this is episode 4 of the Map Editor walkthrough. Uh, it's been a while since I last recorded. Uh, I've done a, a bit, a lot, a good amount of, uh, in the background, but I'm just gonna show it on like the, what, what, what we last left off the map, uh, how I left it before I like just like skip all the way to what I currently have done since it's a, a long tedious process. I think it took like a total of three hours of uh, just, just trying to test uh, props and stuff to see what fit on the map. This is uh, it, it how we last left it off. I'm just gonna move these back. I already know how I, uh, I already made the layout before and I and I much prefer that what I did. And I'm gonna move these out. So I'm gonna be doing thing things already that I that I already know. But you're just gonna you're you're almost here to, just to watch it or copy it, whatever whatever you feel. Just don't plagiarize. But how I wanted the layout was this like a uh, somewhat like a a bit a layer of road or path uh, with a lot of sandwiching buildings like a it's like a it's like a super burrito taco thing i don't know how to explain it that's just a fun way to me saying it but for like every couple of roads or something there's gonna be a building nearby it's not gonna be all super flat and open in this uh urban like area and this urban area isn't really gonna span the entire map Obviously, I just uh, back at that diagram we we made a while I made a while ago. Uh, we're just it's just going to be on on this like upper portion, third half, whatever I, I call it, the map. And I'm thinking and how I uh, making it is there's only be like a couple, couple like entrances like like three on each side. You can't like just. Just like uh, just fling yourself open. There's gonna be like wall, or like city walls or something. Just like high walls, high walls. Um, and I slightly changed up some of the original plan that I probably have forgotten. I was uh, a bit too lazy to go back and review uh, what 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 I was uh, ended off on the last episode, but. I kind of changed some stuff as I was going along making the map in the background. Like you see how I made this layout here instead of just a square now it's going to be a much bigger uh, rectangle. I chose to do that and I'm gonna just going to also increase the height of it too. I'm going to reset these scalings back, the render scalings back up to, to the height of 1 so I could still do this put this uh, wall corner on the other side, grab this fella here and just place him here and just make this an extra wide I meant like just make it a rectangle rectangular, nope don't need you and I since and I think uh, we went over, I went over this like uh, last episode but these walls don't have collision on them so that's why I'm filling it with a building with this gray thing but I but I chose to do, uh, use this instead. This is far much better. It's the perfect rectangular shape, or you can shape it into a square. I'm just gonna resize it twice as much so it just perfectly fits in here. Look at that. But then I still have to adjust the height of it too, and I deleted it back there. I'm gonna, am I gonna make it two? Yeah, I'm gonna make it two because I'm just gonna put a roof on top of it. Grab like a, a roof thing, and just like resize it, and then just lay it on top. What do I need to change here? Do you need to be seven? No, I think you need to be like six. We're gonna here be here for a while. Let's leave you at seven because I did change it later, and, and I'm not. I probably won't continue editing on this save because I already did a ton of the edits. I'm just uh, doing this to show you some of the process of of uh, of how you like set the props to how you want it my phone just had a message I'll, I'll take a look at it at us when we're done here so I don't mind if you heard that click sound bottle cap whatever that's just my phone 
and uh, since I really do not like how these both look the same I'm probably gonna change where I put the wall here um, I think I'm gonna replace easy way to easier way you know I want this one to be in front I do not want uh, I don't I don't want it to look like it's a copy paste job like these are the exact same exact same uh, nearly exact same layout positioning so I just want to change that so it doesn't look as uh, artificial and a bit more it looks a bit more natural even though this entire thing is see I accidentally moved they can either hit the undo button to fix it or what I used to do before just press this once hit enter and it clips it back to where it was since it doesn't change like the position uh, as you move it it stays at its uh, when you first uh, selected it so that's kind of useful if you want to reset the position if this undo button doesn't work and it sometimes doesn't work so be aware of that this is the same wall this is the different one and I want you here even though I doubt anyone will see it it will be like on the other side of the building delete that and then we fill it up and we put the roof on top top of both of these and now it looks like a complete building instead of being like just walls and some hollow thing and uh, how I did the bottom let's see let's see there's a certain couple things that I was using as like a sidewalk path so it's it's gonna it's gonna help you make it a bit clearer that you could take these uh, mini paths instead of like going along the road is I have to find it random sound as oh here it is I want the full one not the right this looking one and I was using this to make path uh, like a path that I'll I'll just make it a crude run since I already said I'm not keeping this I had it like this originally I believe and then if you kinda get what I was saying earlier what I'm gonna be doing is like around this area there's gonna be buildings here right cause it's gonna be like building path building path road whatever it's that kind of like layout that I'm doing for this map and this is kinda why I, I tend to dump out all these buildings around this area so I could just copy it and hold shift left click select and then drag and then I make a copy and then this helps me I could spin it around I'm using the greater than and less than to turn it 90 degrees or you can slip, uh, switch to E hit E on your keyboard it will automatically switch to the rotate key and it'll do this for you I, I, I like to do this since it helps you test out uh, experiment with like putting in different props you like you could do that dragging that dragging this dragging that but we're just going to do this until I said to turn it. I didn't even turn it in the original. And that, and that, that's kind of like what we're going to, what I'm going to be doing. It's going to be a lot of, uh, what I already did was uh, a lot of buildings, props to the side. And other stuff that I'll be using and just uh, copying it and testing them, see if it's right. I'll build up this uh, layout here. So I could do a uh, show, so show a couple other more things. Like this path will lead up to like that uh, super wide, uh, that whitish uh, top path that I drew back in the diagram. That was pretty good, far off distance from this outpost. So if you're focused on that that outpost or uh, on the bottom or anywhere else you could be potentially leaving yourself open go up there very nice and I, re I did this and I'm planning I already have like made this the props not 
not symmetrical. It kind of looks too artificial if you do it. Uh, like only in this copy that I just use the same roof. I even chose different roofs for these. I even prepared a roof structure uh, out in the background too. If I complete the walls here, I don't need. I'll just still use that as to help line it up. Just flip the walls 180 degrees so I could uh, use it as the other part of the wall. 180, boom. We got a fully walled structure. Now you don't need that. The uh, little dock thing already has collision. And I just slide it in and it looks like it's a roofed building now. So that's cool. Uh, that's like just showing you how you could combine props and stuff. You don't have to just go stick with the stick with the buildings. I really need to check my phone now. Oh boy. Okay, looks like uh, I've a plan set now. I only have a little bit left. No, I have a good amount of time left to still go on. And I'm going to extend this road out. Uh, this area here, this area here, and this area here will be the three entrances. There's going to be like walls there, and I'm just going to set it up in a bit. Ah, another road. And this guy here. So I'm just gonna be filling up uh, the this area with like buildings and stuff to make it look look more urban, civilized, and stuff. And I'm just gonna do one more thing, which is slightly different than just doing that. Uh, I did this in the original. I took one of these props. This uh, prop normally would have collision here, but I just I just want to use it as like a cosmetic thing. Like uh, back on like simple or uh, or what it's called now dust. Uh, this thing acts like part of the terrain, but I don't want to do that. This uh, little box here, no collision request. I delete the false statement there and type in true, and uh, copy it so that it applies. And what I just want to do here is I just really want it to use it on like the ground here. Give it like this wooden wood effect. Plus uh, have this gates here and see how it fits kind of nicely in here. That's why. I I want to do that then I could put buildings a couple buildings here and it look kind of kind of cool just line it up there boom and so like every prop at least has like two uses uh, you could use it at just like a like a building an actual thing where you could collide or stop units from going in oh, I need to show the example of a one with collision and one without it. Change this back to false. And we're gonna go to the nav mesh to see this. It'll generate in a second. And see how there's a exactly a flat, there's no breaks, but here there's a break and there's even a, a little bit of pathing on top. Yeah, yeah. So you'd collide into this one, but anything can go through here. It's like a, it's like invisible to units and your mech. Except it looks pretty to people's eyes, which is cool. Okay, uh, and for the most part, that's a ton of what I'm gonna be doing, or have already done. I, I found a lot of props that I feel like look cool or nice. Uh, you, uh, I feel like I explain smaller stuff, but mm, it's mostly just that. Uh, I would do a quick transition or, or if I had ever recorded it like a like a sped up like me doing the process but instead of that I just just gonna load the actually I just save this copy in case something extremely bad happens and then we're just gonna load the copy that I already finished which will like speed up the process that you guys see super fast while uh I spent all the time in real life. So this is it. A lot of the buildings are still out of here. Uh, as you can see, it's not completely, it's not symmetrical prop to prop, but it's generally the layout is symmetrical, so that's kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of, I made the, these walls here, I didn't fix that. 
Oh, that's because I made the wall all uneven. Oh, well, I'll fix that later. But generally, I just experimented with a lot of props. What I felt like looked uh, pretty fair, looked okay. Like put this gas station here. I put up some walls here, put some towers up. This is a bit more industrial area esque area. And then this is a full of rando houses, destroyed buildings. And we go to the nav mesh. It's all like a, a lot of streets and stuff. There's there's like a little area that's completely flat open, except for this fountain area. But even then, I don't would would things be able to shoot? Through? Uh, I don't know. I, I should I can test that right now. Oh, I forgot to show you show you setting the bounds. I need to do that quickly. Go back to here. I already gave myself the bounds in the mail, and we need to set these. Like the force box, this is a very important. This will be like controls where your where your mech and units can go. We're going to be setting it to like the complete coordinates of this entire grid. That's what I already did. I already pre-measured this, and I'll quickly show you how I find it all. It's mostly by hovering your mouse over here. Pay attention to the numbers at the bottom left. You see these? These are your coordinates. X, Y, Z. And then I want you just hover all the way to the corner. It says 124. And then that's what I have in like the force box here. 124 recorded. And then by 92. Since this is a like like not a insane layout, it's just a square symmetric. Uh, you could just flip the sign, and then you'll have the other coordinate of the other side to complete the square rectangle. And I'm gonna need to go over these other boxes. Camera ex ex uh ex these min max boxes are basically just uh splitting up the the positive and negative parts like in like the there's a line there's an invisible line through half the map uh and and that'll be where it'll favor the uh, putting the uh like start with boxes. I need to answer this. Uh, okay, there we go. And uh, we're just going to set that quickly. And then I have to really go soon. And see the box uh, changes when I hit enter and it applies. And it fills up the word. Cam the camera part is uh, for your actual camera that moves around with you. If you don't, if you left it the original, you wouldn't be able to see see yourself when you go past that box. And then map extend min and max that controls your mini map. So uh, what I like to do is I usually like to keep it to match my force box. Uh, like later we're gonna have to change the camera. The camera won't work perfectly uh, by just co uh, using the same coordinates as like the force box. The camera won't work properly. But uh, you should probably keep the Mac extent and the uh, force box the same. Force box too, you really don't need to fill it in. Just keep it like that, unless you're like working on like a weird shaped map. Like uh, the only example of official map example is uh, Crater, where its uh, force box is an octagon shape by using two force boxes. Uh, you really don't need to mess with that much. You, in most cases, you shouldn't really need to, especially if you just design your map as a as a square, not like an octagon. But uh, I think that's all the time I have for this session. This is episode four, which is uh, just like uh, which was like showing showing you bits of how I uh, create like the prop area for like this urban environment, testing buildings, copying, uh, ke keeping a, a mind of my layout that I want, and uh, that's about it for this episode. Till next time guys, see us.